Here we are again, right? It just doesn't let up. These crazy anti-gunners use every single opportunity they can, every single tragedy, every single life to push their agenda. That's all they do. From the minute that the story in Orlando broke, these people, Obama included, Feinstein, Schumer, all of them, they jumped on the bandwagon. They had to get their jabs in, right? In what is a clear-cut textbook case of Islamic fundamentalist terrorism, they had to start talking about guns, didn't they? They had to push their agenda. Did you see Obama's speech? What did he say? Well, it's just too easy to get a hold of a gun, right? That's what he said. He had to just get that little jab in there. Even though we know this guy was a terrorist. This guy was pushed by his extreme radical religion to do evil things. This guy does not care about your laws. We've done the whole gun control thing. We've done the studies. It's done. It's over. The science, as you like to say, liberals, is settled. Study after study after study after study for decades has proven more gun control does not equal less crime. It just doesn't. It is being a science denier when you say that it does, or you're just willfully ignorant. But yet, they still push it over and over and over again. People on the ground in this particular situation, they said this was highly planned out. This was a guy that was determined to do what he had to do. If you put a law in front of him saying he can't own a gun, what's he going to do? More than likely say, screw you, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway. Or he's going to build a bomb. Or he's just going to get in a car and start running people over. Gun control would not have stopped this situation in any way, shape, or form. But they'll keep pushing it, won't they? They keep the madness rolling because it's not about gun control. It's about control. These anti-gunners, these people, want power. And power is control. And they can't control an armed population. They simply can't. It's ingrained in this, this pseudo-twisted liberal anti-gun ideology. They have to get rid of guns doesn't fix the situation. They're just using the Orlando terrorist attack as an excuse, just a way to push their agenda, to push the insanity, to make themselves stronger. So what do we do? What are the little people, us out here who care about our liberties, our freedoms, our Second Amendment, our guns, what do we do? We keep fighting. We keep spreading the truth. We keep talking. And we don't just do it when something like this happens. We do it every single day. Talk to your friends, your family members, your co-workers. Write or, or send an email to your congressman, your senator, to the president. Make your voices heard because what they want to do is suppress your voice. And you can't just speak up now. You should have been speaking up yesterday as well and tomorrow. And to continue to do it every single day. With social media being what it is today, you have a bigger voice than you have ever had in your entire life. Use it. Use it to the advantage of you of your countrymen, of your family, of your friends. Use that voice to make this country better. That's what you have to do. We have to fight every single day. We have to push the truth on people so they don't accept the lies that the anti-gunners are giving us. It is the only way to win this battle. But if we keep trying, if we keep pushing that line further and further towards truth, in the end, we will win this war.